Sometimes you can get a strong, stable neck position during your row with just a couple simple cues. And if you can do it, it works a lot faster to do it that way. So we're gonna start here by trying some cues out. So if your head is fallen forward towards the ground, the first thing I like to try to do is I just I put my smelly hand in front of people and I say, don't let my smelly hand touch your face. And so sometimes people try to keep their neck forward and tilt their head back. And that's not what we want, right? We want a normal cervical lordosis. We don't want an excessive one, okay? So I need to bring the whole neck backward. Now, if I don't feel comfortable talking to somebody and put my smelly hand in their face, then I might just say, I want you to bring your neck back. I can say head back, but when I say head back, people just tilt like this. And when I say face back, it works sometimes, but sometimes people are very vision dependent and they still tilt their head instead of bringing their entire face backward. Uh, whatever visual helps you get that position, I'm cool with. Um, that is honestly my most successful cue and probably the only one that I use, but it needs to go with a strong, stable push with your hand. So part of this neck shifting forward that we get is it's not just the neck, it's the stuff below the neck. It's the rib cage, it's the thoracic spine. So if that stuff is falling forward, then we there's nothing we can do about the neck position. You know, what we're doing by bringing the neck back is just helping us bring the thoracic spine back as well and restoring a normal curvature there. If we're gonna have a normal cervical lordosis, we're gonna need a normal thoracic kyphosis, a normal upper back rounding, okay? So in rows, it's important to have a pretty straight back position, um, but you don't want too much straight and you don't want to straighten as you row so much because if I start to do that, I am substituting my rowing muscles with backing muscles. <laughs> so I start to lean back instead of pulling my shoulder blade back. I lean my en entire upper body back instead. So try the cue, bring your neck back or bring your face away from my hand, but then make sure you stay strong on whatever support arm you're using. Um, one thing implicit in this that I haven't mentioned yet is if you have an unstable neck when you row and you really like to push it forward, maybe as you row or maybe just the entire time it stays falling down, uh, being dominated by gravity, you don't have any business doing a row with two hands without your other hand supporting you. You should not be doing a bent over barbell or dumbbell row because you have nothing to help that neck learn where it's supposed to be. You need to do a, a variation of the row that will help you get in the right position. And then later on down the line, you could do this bent over row or whatever, something heavier. Uh, but first, you've got to check your ego at the door. You gotta use ridiculously light weights until you get that perfect motion. You should still be able to feel the muscles kind of turning on. They just might not get as tired and they might not turn on quite as much. It might feel a lot different than you're used to doing it, but that's okay because it's supposed to. If it weren't supposed to feel different, we wouldn't be fixing anything, right? Um, yes, cues during the row. Bring your face away from my hand. Bring your neck back and stay strong on the arm.